Hello, welcome to Exceding with Naomi. Now, upon testing for cointegration, and you find that there is cointegration, so the next step is to run the error correction model, which is used to estimate the long run relationship between the variables. And this is what I want to show you in this tutorial. And the variables that I am using is the domestic debt and the external debt as the independent variables and the log of GDP as the dependent variable. So the first step is that you set your time variable if you have not done so. So use the command T set. Yes. Sorry. Typo error. That is T set yes the next step now is to determine the maximum lag for each of the variables I am going to use the command VASOC then select the first variable now I find that the now I find that the max lag for the variable log of domestic debt is 1 Next, I check the maxi lag for the next variable, which is the log of external debt. And I find that the maximum lag is 1 also. And finally, the, the maximum lag for the variable GDP. And it is also 1. Now, after determining the maximum lag for each of the variables, the next step now is to run the error correction model. And this is how you do it. Write ARDL, then select your variables. First of all, the, the dependent variable, and then the independent variables. And then put a comma, and then specify the maximum rags for each which is found as one for each of the variables and then write e c and press enter here now we have the results for our error correction model and this is the or these are the results for the long run relationship you see they have the variable log of DD and the log of ED and these are the coefficients and the P values so you are going to interpret this coefficient as well as the P values as you do for any other regression analysis so that is how you run the error correction model for ARDL after you establish that there is cointegration. Now please like this video and also subscribe to this channel.